Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. So we are going to continue with our discussion on overheads and we are starting with a new topic and the topic name is under and over absorption of overheads. So what do you have studied so far? We have studied till the absorption of overheads. We studied about the different methods of absorption of overheads. We studied about the machina rate and uh, initially we studied about primary and secondary distribution than absorption. Now, what is this under and over absorption of overheads? This is again an important topic. Uh, from the marks point of view, if I say generally a five marks question, generally a five marks question, but if it comes in combination with some other part, right, then it can be a 10 marks question, right? If you expect a question only from under and over absorption of overheads, then generally a five marks or six marks question, right? But again, an important topic and easy to understand, nothing to worry about it, right? We'll try to simplify it and make you understand in the simplest of the ways I can, right? So the topic name is under and absorption of, uh, under and over absorption of overheads. Now try to understand with the help of an example. I'll just take a very simple example. Say you are four friends, right? It's your birthday party. You are the host right you are the host you took four of your friends uh, for a party you say uh, let's go chill out let's have a party i'll throw the party you went to a pizza shop you went to a pizza shop right enjoyed a lot enjoyed a lot sir and the bill was thousand rupees right the bill was thousand rupees now can you tell me now this is what this is your overhead right now can you tell me the approximate price of one pizza uh, or i can say can you tell me the overhead absorption rate overhead absorption rate what is meant by this overhead absorption rate here sir i want to know the price of one pizza right say my finished good is one pizza and i want to know the price of that i will say what is my total overheads 1000 right and i will divide it by the number of pizzas we ordered say we ordered four pizza right so my overhead absorption rate is rupees 250 this is what we have already studied in the topic of absorption any doubts up till this point right you are four friends uh total four friends i can say right you went to a birthday party it's your birthday party you are the host and uh, you took your friends to the pizza party you ordered four pizzas right four pizzas of your choice right then when the bill came it was thousand rupees now this thousand rupees is what it is your overhead now you say i want to know the price of individual pizza when the bill arrived what happened that pizza uh, shop that gave you a bill of 1000 in total they didn't give you the bifurcation now when you came back home you say that i should know the price of one pizza so what you did 1000 divided by the number of pizzas that you have ordered right that is four so approximately 250 rupees per pizza clear sir right so you enjoyed the party definitely sir next year next year next year now many of you must be thinking sir now no parties in the covid time obviously so i'm talking about the pre-covid times now you know this whole uh, century i can say this whole time is divided into two eras now one is the pre covid era and the other one is the post covid era like we used to have you know uh, this uh, we used to study in the history chapters ad whatever it was right the eras now we will say sir the pre covid era and the post covid era now we are talking about the pre covid era when we used to do parties we go used to go to the pizza shops enjoy have some fun dj party and all those things right next year again your birthday you want to again throw them a party in the same pizza shop in the same pizza shop sir you love pizza okay now this time what happened say you are five friends now right who will be going to the pizza shop 
now what do you do you are sitting in your uh, room at your home one day before the birthday party you have planned you have planned everything for the birthday that we will go to the pizza shop five friends will go to the pizza shop right now you have to take some pocket money from your parents for the pizza isn't it what you will do now you will say last year last year the price per pizza was 250 rupees and what you imagine in your head that this time also we will have the same pizza right but this time what will happen number of pizzas number of pizzas will be five because of five friends right price per pizza price per pizza according to you should be 250 rupees isn't it how you got this 250 rupees from your last year experience that is the budgeted data from the absorption from the absorption rate you say the price per pizza last year it was 250 this year also it is going to be 250 this is what we do in the absorption now but this time the number of pizzas will be five so you will take the pocket money how much how much money you will take actual uh, i can say total absorbed money i can say or absorption right i can say absorption how much five pizza into 250 rupees wait you will not be able to understand the absorption word i'll say pocket money or uh, i can say change not pocket money sir we'll change it we'll say the budgeted expenditure or i can say yes budgeted expenditure budgeted expenditure right 5 into 250 rupees how much sir 5 multiplied by 250 1250 so what you do is you go to your parents you say mommy papa will be going five friends five pizzas price per pizza 250 give me 1250 right so it's a birthday your parents will not uh, you know deny you go better have fun right so you took 1250 from your parents because you say it is 250 per pizza five friends 1250 no more uh, required nothing more now you went to the pizza shop you enjoyed you ordered pizza you didn't even look at the prices of the pizza you enjoyed pizza sir and the actual bill the actual bill came out to be rupees 1500 you estimated rupees 1250 but the actual bill came out to be 1500 when there is a difference between your thinking your estimation and the actuals this is known as under or over absorption of overheads now in this case what is happening in this case what is happening this is my absorbed amount this is my absorbed amount absorbed overheads i can say 1250 why absorbed sir because i used the budgeted rate for the current year that is what we do in the absorption now right i absorbed this i took 1250 rupees from my dad i absorbed this money that this will be my expenditure in the current birthday party but actual bill was something different now what happened your actual bill now what has happened is your actual overheads your actual overheads is greater than your absorbed overheads absorbed is what you planned for absorbed is what you planned for on the basis of past experiences you planned for 1250 rupees on the basis of the past experiences that it will be a 250 rupees per pizza and the actual overheads is something different when there is an imbalance between the actual and absorbed overheads there comes a case of under or over absorption of overheads right when the actual overheads are are greater than the absorbed overheads this is a case of what should be the case can you uh, tell me can you just imagine it will be an under absorption or over absorption you are having uh, under money or over money you are under money or over money sir i am having less money i am under money right so this is a case of under absorption of overheads under absorption 
of overheads right so when your actual overheads are more than the absorbed overheads right so this is the first scenario this is the first scenario where your actual bill came out to be 1500 let's take the second scenario in the second scenario the actual bill in the second scenario the actual bill is rupees say 1000 rupees now what is happening sir we are very happy the actual bill came out to be 1000 rupees that means your actual overheads your actual overheads are less than absorbed overheads on the basis of past experiences you absorbed that it will be 1250 bill but the actual bill was 1000 rupees so this is a case of you have extra money now over and above the bill this is over absorption of overheads over absorption of overheads any doubts up till this point from this example right are you getting the uh, example have you got it right we have already studied the absorption part i used that part only with the help of just an example right instead of directly going to the concept that this 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 is the concept i have just taken the example and try to explain it in the simplest way so that you are able to understand that what is under absorption and what is over absorption of overheads right so this is the simplest way i can explain it clear sir under and over absorption is clear now let's take another example now from the uh, bookish language example i can say example say we have calculated the machine r rate yes sir right say the machine r rate machine r rate calculated on the basis of the past experiences is rupees 20 all those who are having my handbooks no need to write this example it is given in the book right it is given in the uh, concept book okay machine r rate rupees 20 based on the experiences budgeted data of the last year we have calculated the machine r rate now coming to the current year what happened actual machine hours actual machine hours worked actual machine hours worked is 10000 hours so what should be the absorbed overheads what should be the absorbed overheads can you tell me from here what should be the absorbed overheads absorbed overheads sir in the current year we have worked for 10000 hours and on the past experiences we have calculated that the rate will be 20 rupees per hour right so my absorbed overheads will be 2 lakh rupees that means i will be setting aside 2 lakh rupees that this year my machine hours are expected to work for 10000 hours right and i'm setting aside 2 lakh rupees because 20 rupees is the machine hour rate now my actual overheads after the year i analyzed my actual overheads were 2 lakh 10000 rupees right my actual overheads were 10000 rupees now tell me is this a case of under absorption or over absorption actual overheads are more than the absorbed overheads what i'm saying is actual overheads actual overheads are more than absorbed overheads isn't it the case right what is my actual overheads 2 lakh 10,000 what are my absorbed overheads 2 lakh so what is this case sir this is a clear cut case of under absorption of overheads under absorption of overheads right to the tune of rupees 10,000 now just try to understand sir why are we studying this topic now you have understood what is under and over absorption of overheads isn't it yes sir why are we studying this topic sir in the overheads or in the cost accounting in the chapter of overheads why are we studying this topic see let's take this now 
if you would have known in the advance that my bill will be 1500 rupees what you would uh, you would have done you would have actually taken 1500 rupees from your parents instead of 1250 isn't it that means you would have recovered that amount from your parents right now obviously your parents would uh, you know say no to you because it's your birthday party they know you have to enjoy it but only and only if you would have known you would have recovered that amount from your parents now come to this case sir my actual expenses is 2 lakh 10 thousand whereas i set aside only 2 lakh rupees or i absorbed in the finished good in the finished good i absorbed only 2 lakh rupees sir this 10 thousand rupees which i uh, you know didn't consider this 10 thousand was to be recovered from my customers right what is the purpose of cost accounting sir we have to take all the cost so that we are able to recover that cost from our customer isn't it nobody is doing business and spending incurring cost from the pocket right we are doing business and whatever the cost is incurred in making of the product we have to recover that cost from our customer isn't it so this 10,000 rupees this under absorption of overheads this is a loss to me right i would have recovered i should have recovered this 10000 rupees from my customer but i didn't in the case 250 rupees i should have recovered from my parents but i didn't now i am in a dilemma i am standing at the shop with a bill of 1500 rupees but i don't have the money it's a loss to me isn't it right so same is the case that this this 10000 rupees we have to recover from our customer but we have not now what is the treatment of it how to treat it in the cost accounts the under and over absorption this is what we have to study now right so the topic will be so a topic will be treatment of under or over absorbed overheads right now let's see the treatment first case case one due to defective planning or abnormal reasons right so the first case says if the under or over absorption is due to defective planning or the abnormal reasons that is the reasons uh, which could have been avoided have you planned the things better right or which were not in your control abnormal reasons beyond the normal things right if it is due to the defective planning or the abnormal reasons then you can't do anything say you planned for five uh, five of the friends and you forgot one of your friend right and he got to know that you are throwing the party and he arrived there it is your planning which is defective that you forgot your friend and it was an abnormal reason now you can't do anything if he has arrived you will definitely order the pizza for him isn't it right now so if the under or over absorption is due to your defective planning or some abnormal reason then the direct impact will be given to costing profit and loss account it will directly impact your profits and the impact will be given to costing p and l account right what is going to be the journal entry journal entries how it will impact your books that we have to see see uh, when we started about material labor costing there also i told you that if there is a loss or there is a profit also due to some abnormal reason it has always to be taken to the costing profit and loss account it is always to be taken to costing profit and loss account right now first we'll take under absorption first i will take under absorption now in case of under absorption tell me whether it is a profit or a loss for you one case will be a profit other case will be a loss now in case of under absorption just tell me whether it is a profit or a loss 
See, this is an under absorption of overheads, 10,000 rupees. Now from here, analyze whether it is a profit or a loss. When your actual overheads are more than what you absorbed, you should have recovered 2,10,000 from your customer, but you have recovered 2 lakh rupees. Wow, sir, it's a profit. How can it be a profit? It is a loss for you in case of under absorption. And if it is a loss, what you will do, sir? Very simple. The journal entry will be costing profit and loss account debit to will take one account that is factory overheads control account factory overheads control account because it this is related to your factory overheads so we'll credit the factory overhead control account this account we are going to discuss in detail in the chapter of cost accounting system but for now you need to understand that all the overheads the what are this under and over absorptions are nothing but the factory overheads only now so i credited the factory overheads account simple right now the second case second case is what over absorption of overheads now this is a benefit for the firm if it is a benefit due to some defective planning or the abnormal reason this will again be taken to the costing P&L but in this case we will credit P&L account right because it is a profit and we will debit the factory overheads control account factory overhead control account debit control account debit to costing profit and loss account clear sir to costing profit and loss account so these are the journal entries this is the first case where the under or over absorption is due to defective planning or due to some abnormal reasons clear the direct impact will be given to costing profit and loss account let's come to the second case now second case is set off Now this is a very rare case. This is a very rare case. Even if we talk about the practical problems, uh, you won't find this case very often, right? In the practical problems also. What it says, the set of says, say in the year 2019-20, there is an under absorption. There is an under absorption of say 10,000 rupees. In the year 2020-21, you are expecting that there will be an over absorption of rupees 10,000. This is what you are expecting. So if in the one year there is an under absorption or vice versa can also be there. And in the next year, you are expecting the reverse of that. In the 1920, there was an under absorption of 10,000. In the 2020, you are expecting that there will be an over absorption of 10,000. So what you will do, you will, this one, you will carry forward. You will carry forward to next year, right? And set off against over absorption and set off against over absorption right sir what will be the journal entry nothing sir you just have to carry forward it in the next year it will appear in your uh, accounts that's it right it will appear in your accounts any doubt sir any doubt clear now next case third case next case is genuine price rise or fall genuine price rise or fall now coming to the example coming to the same example now if this actual expenditure of 500 is due to the genuinely the prices of the raw materials have increased and accordingly the price of the pizza have increased has increased right so this is a genuine this is due to the market reasons this is beyond your control right this is due to the market reason it is a genuine price because the raw materials have increased that is why the prices of the pizza have increased nothing much 
you can do about it right so this is a genuine reason so i have written genuine price rise or fall so the there can be two cases there can be two cases one is price rise and the other one can be price fall right now in case of price rise what will happen and in case of price fall what will happen under or over absorption in case of price rise just uh, imagine from the example in case of price rise what will happen your actual expenditure your actual overheads will be more than the absorbed overheads if there is a price rise right so in this case what will happen under absorption and the vice versa right so in case of price rise there will be an under absorption of overheads under absorption of overheads right so all those who are having the books no need to write all these 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 things everything is given in the book just write the extra things keep your notebooks ready just write the extra things this all is given in the book so nothing to worry about it right just listen to it very carefully and try to understand the concept that is very important so in case of price rise there will be an under absorption of overheads and in case of price fall there will be an over absorption of overheads seems logical sir right from the example only just remember this pizza example everything will be clear to you people right now in this case what should be the treatment now what will happen just imagine your situation i i'll come back to this example only just imagine this situation you have 1250 rupees in your pocket and the bill is of 1500 rupees now what will you do it is due to the genuine reason it is not your mistake sir what will you do this you are short 250 rupees what will you do sir very simply if they are your good friends what you will do is you will ask all of your friends to contribute isn't it what you will do you will ask your friends to contribute right now the question is how you will decide the contribution in this case when it is due to the genuine reasons what you will do you will ask your friends to contribute right now you will what you will ask your friends ask your friends to contribute ask your friends to contribute rupees 250 but how you will decide that how much should be contributed by each person how much should be contributed by each person sir very simply you will say 250 divided by 5 friends 50 rupees each right this is how you can decide it simple sir very simple correct there is no harm in this now this calculation this calculation is called as supplementary rate supplementary rate sir what is this meaning we are not able to understand have you understood this example right you will ask 250 rupees now coming to the business point of view what will business say the business say if it is under or over absorption i will have to recover that amount from what from my goods right i will say that oh, under or over absorbed overheads under or over absorbed overheads now when i know that my actual overheads is more or less and i know the under or over absorbed overheads i have to give the effect i will say under or over absorbed overheads will be recovered will be recovered from goods right now if i am a manufacturer my goods can be in three stages one is the wip stage right that is the goods are in the process of making second is my goods are lying in the ground as a finished good third is i have sold some of my goods now i want to recover i want to recover these under or over absorbed overheads from these three goods one is wip that is in the making one is lying in my ground that is my finished good and one i have sold already 
right now it will come to your mind sir the goods which we have sold how are we going to recover from that are we going to go to the customer 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 this is what was under absorption please give us more money who is going to give you more money sir nobody is going to uh, give you the extra money isn't it so you will ask me sir how can we take it on the unit sold here will give effect to the cost of sales what you will do is we will increase the cost of sales in our books that is going to impact our profits we are not going to go to the customer to whom we sold the goods that customer please give us the money because we under recovered the overheads no right what are we going to do is we are going to give the effect to the cost of sales in our cost accounting books we are going to increase that cost or decrease that cost depending upon under or over absorption right and what is going to the going to be the impact of that it is going to impact my profits if my cost will increase my profits will come down if my cost will come down my profits will increase simple right so what i will do is i will calculate a supplementary rate right i will calculate a supplementary rate what is going to be the supplementary rate what i will do i will simply calculate supplementary rate how you calculated the supplementary rate here sir 250 what is 250 under or over absorbed overheads right i'm going to write it i'll say under or over absorbed overheads under or over absorbed overheads right divided by the number of people from whom the amount was to be recovered and here the amount is to be recovered from the number of goods so i will say wip plus finished goods plus sold units right this all has to be in number of units number of units in wip number of units lying in the godown as my finished goods and the number of units sold this will give me a supplementary rate to divide the under or over absorbed overheads between wip fg and sold the same way i calculated the supplementary rate here i divided it by the number of people so that i get to know that how much amount should be recovered from each person right here also if i want to know that how much of the overheads are to be attributed uh, attributed to wip how much to be given to fg how much to be given to the cost of sales i will calculate a supplementary rate right and these are going to be the closing stocks these are going to be the closing stock closing stock of wip and fg closing stock of wip and fg right now what is going to be the journal entry for this what is going to be the journal entry for this let's see journal entry first for under absorption of overheads under absorption of overheads right now in the first case uh, the entry was costing p and l to factory overheads right in this case also what we are going to do is we are going to credit to we'll say to factory overheads control account it will remain same to factory overheads control account we are going to credit the overheads right what should be debited debited should be three parts from whom the amount is to be recovered one is wip control account we always write as control accounts right wip control account then finished goods control account right and the third is cost of sales cost of sales account now how to calculate it this here you will take the full amount of over or under absorption how to calculate this 
नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सप्लीमेंट्री रेट राइट नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू आई पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द सप्लीमेंट्री रेट दैट इज द एवरेज रेट राइट दिस इज द एवरेज रेट दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सप्लीमेंट्री रेट सिमिलरली फॉर द फिनिश्ड गुड्स नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स क्लोजिंग स्टॉक मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सप्लीमेंट्री रेट क्लियर now the second case in case of over absorption in case of over absorption of overheads over absorption of overheads what will happen sir in case of over absorption we will debit the factory overheads control account factory overheads control account debit with the full amount of under or over absorbed overheads right and in this case we are going to credit all the three accounts to wip control account to finished goods control account to cost of sales account to cost of sales account right the method remains the same the method remains the same number of units multiplied by supplementary rate so this is the journal entry which will be asked in the examination now in the examination you will get a mixture of if you get a, a purely question on under or over absorption you will get a mixture of first and third method right the second method is not asked generally clear sir so i have tried my best to explain in the simplest of the ways this over or under absorption and if you can remember this example of a pizza that will be very very simple for you people right just remember that example and you will never confuse which is under absorption or what is uh, what is over absorption clear you have to calculate the supplementary rate then these are the journal entries right sir so the discussion part is over for under and over absorption of overheads there is nothing more to discuss in this topic this is all about the topic in the next lecture what we are going to do is the practical sums so in the next lecture we will do the practical part of it and most most probably we'll complete this chapter in the next lecture because this is the last topic after that there is one very small topic that is the blanket overhead rate that is nothing much right that i just have to uh, tell you in just 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes maximum right so the main topic the last topic main topic was this one right and uh, the practical problems there are two practical problems that we have to do we'll complete it in the next lecture try to complete it in the next lecture and with that our chapter will be over right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy revise whatever we have done right so thank you so much